Hello everyone, this is your very happy and excited Vor today of Skinchpunk Labs, of the YouTube channel that um, for almost the past, past two years have been trying to build a game engine from scratch. And if you've been, been watching lately, I've been really into procedurally generated animations. And I've been really focused on trying to build things um, built off, like kind of modeled after um, uh, Ubisoft's IK rig and overgrowth. Um, they also have a really some really cool uh, procedure animation type of things. So I'm really excited that I managed to actually get to this point. It's, I think I've been kind of working on this for like two or three months now, uh, little by little as I'm building the game engine from scratch. And here we go. We have an, a working prototype of IK rigs, uh, essentially the beginning stages of it, really. Um, in case you're not very well... Uh, you don't know IK rigs very well. The idea is that you save the data in a certain way, and then you animate this, and this one data is kind of universal, and you can apply it to any rig that you want. It's big, it kind of, it, it, the animation goes to like a, a, a standard rig that can be applied to any model you have, ideally. So the idea is you build one animation, and it'll work for anything, and the animation is written in a way that you can add rules to it and tweak it and everything else without actually have to reanimate everything. And this is like this is this is like a simple walk uh, cycle that I, I put together with it, my own like little motor engine. And it's it's a, just one animation and I'm applying it to two separate um, IK chains. So like here in the, here's like in this example that centerpiece is the actual data. It's a direction and a length. And I came up with the idea of um, the length being a value between zero and one because the chain of bones have a length. So I can use that as a scalar value. So by animating the scalar value and then animating the direction that I want um, the overall chain to go, I can then um, take that data, throw it into a solver, and that solver will then spit back me the information I need to apply to the actual specific chain. So like, like I said, this is one example right here. Um, the center is the actual data I'm, I'm animating. Then the, the the two sides is actually the data. I'm passing that animated data to these IK solvers I've written. And then on the ends, I'm applying that the, the solved data, uh, you know, applying it to the actual bones. So this, like I said, there's one animation. I'm only animating it once, and I'm spreading it out to all these things. Um, you might see a little glitch with the my uh, arcing. Uh, IK solver it's not perfect I'm having some trouble with it um, I'm not a mathematician but I'm surprised I managed to get this far to get it right um, so I'm kind of hoping to set up like a 2D version of it like very simple for canvas and post it on code pen so if anyone wants to help me um, complete my uh, circle arc car um, solver that would be great um, I'm kind of hoping to make a video about it soon in the future and um, yeah I'm really really happy like it, it's it works. It's like I can make this happen. You know, it's like I, I'm going to keep pushing and pushing. I'm really going to want to make an IK rig system, and it's going to be open sourced. I want it to be out there, be in JavaScript. Um, maybe down the line when, when it's kind of mature, maybe I'll help out and actually port it over to other systems like um, Unity or um, – Whatever you know, whatever I'm, I don't know. I'm I'm just excited to get this working, and it's working in JavaScript and WebGL, so it's kind of awesome. Um, I just love the fact that all this works, and it's because I built it from scratch. It's like I'm not using three dot JS or anything like that. So yeah, there you go. I just wanted to show it off, um, you know, because I, I get people maybe excited. Um, because this is where I'm going to go for my online series. I'm going to really focus on getting this put together. Um, I'm going to complete the prototype just like how um, that it, that's in the video for IK rigs that Ubisoft did at uh, G GDC uh, about two years ago. Um, I need, there's three more legs I want to I need to create. Uh, I need a, a kind of a piston type of leg. I can create a solver for that. Um, the other one is a sine wave uh, type of leg. I can kind of do that if I can get my circle arc working. Uh, then I can actually then just do half circle and half circle. I know how to put it together as long as I get the circle arc uh, thing working pretty well. So this way I can make a sine wave leg. And then um, the last leg I need to try to, a solver I need to kind of implement so that I can, can move forward with this 
uh, is like um, the hind leg of a quadruped, like a cat or a dog. Um, I have no clue how to create rate a solver for that. So if you have any examples or if you know some uh, tips on how to solve it, I've been kind of drawing it out and trying to figure out the triangles to kind of pinpoint how can I do it. Now, I'm, I never went to college, so I only have high school math on me and it's just the stuff I've been learning for the last two years to build this game engine. So, But so far, I've gotten pretty far with the, the limited amount of math I, I do know. So um, just to show you guys, if, you, if you're curious about the circle arc, um, it does work. Um, it does, like I said, it does work pretty well. It's just over. It goes over the the target. Um, when it gets close to the the minimum and the maximum amount of the circle, it, it, it the the actual end target and the actual target kind of get close together. So I'm having problems. I'm using arc lengths, and um, it's a bunch of math I found online, like here and there, and kind of just trying to mash it together and make it sense. So essentially, I'm just trying to calculate the arc and try to make it match um, the chord. It's, it's, the chord is the, the space, be, be to, it's the distance between point, the, the, the two endpoints. So I need, I need the two endpoints to match perfectly, and that's where I'm having problems getting the arc length and everything kind of aligned exactly perfectly. Like I need the points to be exactly from point A to point um, Z. Um, like I said, the red dot is really the point I really want to be at, but that last point is is so off. But like I said, I'm you know the arc length, the the, the math is most it's mostly working. It does work. It does fold in right correctly. It just I just can't get it to target correct perfectly. So once I can get it target correctly, then um it it'll work. For, I can do a lot more things with it. Um, it'll fix this problem here. Um, but yeah, this is. This is great. I love it. Um, I don't want to spend too. I don't want to make this video too long, uh, and talking about it. Um, the source code will come out when I'm done with it. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm just really excited. This is great. I'm. You know, I thought it was going to take me a couple more weeks before I got got this far, but I managed to push through today. And today just had a really good coding day. And um, here it is. I just wanted to show it off. And. Uh, yeah, um, like I said, any help with uh, the arc and maybe figuring out what to do with a uh, hind leg solver or any other solvers. If you guys have any other cool, cool solvers, um, I've already done a, a video tutorial on a couple solvers. Like um, the 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 limb solver is like like right on is right on the right on the spot. Like the red dot doesn't show up, so it's it hits the spot where it needs to do. So it works great. So I got, at least got arms and legs working good. Like I said, I just need hind legs for animals because I want to do some quadruped stuff. And um, once I get some of this working a little bit, I want to definitely do one like a robot, uh, like a spider bot, and have it like walk around um, procedurally, uh, like no anim uh, like no predefined animations. Well, there's some predefined, but yeah, I don't know. It's late. I'm cocked off on caffeine, so I'm really excited. Um, yeah, just like I said, this I, I've done a video about this already, and this is my circle arc um, solver which isn't 100% perfect, but um, it's getting there. Um, and just to show you that the, the part of the source code that um, actually does the animating, it's right up here. Um, I, have, I have the animation. I say update that animation. Um, I, tell, I kind of update the target with the chain information. I run the, the two-bone solver. I do uh, basically that's inverse, and then that's forward in schematics. So I got the uh, inverse kinematics working. So that's the inverse part, and that's the forward part. So, and then I just apply the results back to the chain, um, and then I take that exact same target information that I got from the animation, just apply that other chain, the the eight bone chain. I do the circle arc solver. Do again, do the four chain uh, like kind of setup. And then uh, apply it again, and it call in the call of the day. So, like I said, this is like I said, one a single animation, and I can then just apply it to different um, use different solvers, and then apply it to different type of um, um, IK chains, which will end up being IK rigs at the end of the future, because an IK rig is just really five chains put together, five or six chains. Yeah, I would think about five or six chains put together. So. Yeah, I made this video too long, and that's like almost 10 minutes. So, yeah, I just want to show it off. I uh, hope you guys like it. Um, hopefully you'll see more 
in the future as I'll improve and start building this up. Like I said, this is one leg will soon become two legs, become four legs. And then I'll start walking, jumping, running. You know, it, hopefully it'll start to get speed up once I get the system really working. And um, why not I'll show you the, the animation part. I built like an animation engine type of thing, um, which is not going to be probably the permanent thing. I might end up doing um, over not Overwatch, Overgrowth. We're just I'm just going to animate between poses, but the pose is going to be stored in that directional length uh, data, so this way I can reuse it um, with anything. Uh, yeah, I built I, I built a new IK Chain animator, and then just have to set up some JSON code so all that walk animation is actually here you know here's i'm the defining the direction that i want to start with um the direction where the bend of the uh, the leg is going to be um what kind of a curve i want to apply to it um what uh it's I'm kind of using kind of like a, this kind of like a motor code i wrote together and just tell me like at what point of the cycle do i want to start at so, but this is going to start at zero cycle this is the axis of rotation how much to rotate in the beginning, how much to rotate at the very end. And then scale is that length that actually allows me to apply it to the chain solvers to kind of get everything. So yeah, like I kind of basically built an animator with just small bits of configuration. And this is pretty much a walk cycle. So all I have to do is apply this with um, a half cycle offset. And then I can actually do a walk animation. I've done this before in forward animation, but now I'm kind of doing this kind of in an IK-ish kind of way. So, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, all this code will be out in, uh, maybe in a month or so when I get it really cleaned up and working really well. So yeah, now it's up to 12 minutes. Let me end this video. See you guys next time.